Hi, in the next few videos, I hope to clearly explain exfoliation, desiccation, cell renewal, and cell turnover. Things we read about constantly in magazines and in beauty products we see, comments about them, but they can be very, very confusing. So I'm going to do my best. Next time you're in the shower, have a good look at your face and body and maybe give yourself a hug and say, my God, my skin's amazing. It's your largest organ. It's waterproof. It holds all your other organs within it and literally supports your function to live. What an amazing organ. Skin is made up of two layers, the epidermis on top, the dermis underneath. Within these layers, there are many other layers, but from a simplistic point of view, that's how it is. So in the epidermis, which is what we see when we look at our skin, at the bottom of this epidermis, there are what are called the basal cells. So I think of the basal cells as being getting into an elevator. You're at the ground level, the basal cells are constantly dividing and reproducing themselves. They're being fed directly from the blood supply underneath them and they're plump, full of energy, beautiful cells. However, as they are subdividing constantly, they push the cells that are lying above them up. And these cells have now started in the elevator of cell renewal. So they are moving up the elevator. As they're moving up the elevator, they're moving away from their blood supply and their hydration. So they're becoming drier, they're becoming flatter, and eventually they get to the top of the layer, they mix with a protein called keratin, and they are now dead skin cells that interlock to make them waterproof. And they are constantly shedding off. In fact, by the time you've watched this video, you will have lost 80,000 cells, dead skin cells. Unbelievable. So, cell renewal is that process of the cell growing from a basal cell to falling off. Why it's of such interest to us in the skincare world is because as you get older, this process slows down and it takes significantly longer for a cell to do its journey than it did, say, when you were 18 and you would love fresh skin. It was all happening so fast. Now it's much, much slower and we have wrinkles and lines and pigmentation. And if we can increase the cell renewal and make it happen that little bit faster, we will have younger looking skin. Hope that helps.